Welcome to Content Inspire. I'm your host, Andrew Calvino. And today I have the legend and badass herself, Shannon O'Sullivan. And she is a huge fan of Anaka Power. That's how we got together. Uh, I saw all her amazing content. She just kept on posting gym fits, high quality content, and just putting herself out there. And, but I'll let, I'll let you introduce yourself to the listener. <laughs> um, what up guys, I'm Shannon otherwise known as Shano or call me Shano, um, whatever you want to call me. <laughs> um, I have my platform and it's just kind of grown immensely over the past few months. And it's been really, really great. Honestly, I just, I never really thought anything would take off. I just started posting things because it was things that I liked and it was me and um, people started to like it. And then I got into editing and stuff and it kind of, it kind of is history from there, but you know, Anak is it for me. If you follow me, you know that. If you didn't know that, now you know. Um, I'm, uh, I'm the Anaka girl. So, drippy, drippy fits are my, my thing, and I love the gym. So. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing that with me and the listeners. And yeah. main reason why I brought you on here is because I have a feeling when somebody listens to your story, they're gonna go after it. So. <laughs> First question your way is, what is your why? My why? Um, I think it's a little multifaceted. Mm -hmm. I would say that my why is for me mm -hmm. and for God. Um, throughout my life, I've gone through a lot of different things a lot of experiences you know tough times and stuff like that and I've realized that I put others like before myself I have a tendency to do that mm -hmm. so I've had to take time to figure out my own value and my own worth so my why is for me and for my happiness and you know hopefully fulfilling whatever I'm here to put here on this earth to do you know and then for God, you know, also because I wouldn't be here without my faith. Um, I converted to Islam and that was two years ago now uh -huh. in the middle of the pandemic. And I would definitely wouldn't be here without my faith. So it's a little multifaceted, but I'd say that's my, that's my why. Okay. Well, thank Sorry, you. I, if, I, if it looks weird, like I'm like petting something, it's because I am because <laughs> my cat <laughs> Lewis is down here. He's like cuddling me. I'm like... <laughs> Um, well, thank you for sharing your why with me and the listeners. And then another quick question your way is, is how did you get into working out and deciding to put yourself out there on social media? Yeah. So with working out, I was always into sports growing up. I, my main sport growing up was gymnastics. I did that until I was about 12 years old. And then I kind of dabbled in just a little bit of everything in high school. I was on like the high school gymnastics team still, the dance team. Um, I ran cross country. So a bunch of different things. And then college hit and I needed something. I like hadn't been doing any type of fitness for like a year and a half. And I was kind of in a rut and my mom started doing CrossFit. And I was like, hmm, that's a little interesting. I feel like I could get into that. Uh -huh. And I started it and I really did love it, um, but it was terrible for my joints and gymnastics already has killed my joints. So <laughs> um, I, and it was, you know, a lot more like cardio, which I was never like a huge, huge fan of. So that was around the time that bodybuilding started becoming more popular, like with Instagram and, you know, Gymshark and stuff like that. So uh -huh. I started looking into it and talked to a couple of friends that did it and competed and it's history ever since, dude. I love, love, love the sport and I love the gym. <laughs> it's my happy place. So that's, okay. that's my, my lifting story, I guess. <laughs> okay, sweet. And then um, another quick question your way is, do you have a content schedule regarding how you record your content and when you post it or is it freestyle? Honestly, it's freestyle. <laughs> okay. So right. I know a lot of people like, I mean, in the algorithms, like I, I've studied the algorithms and stuff like that. And it's, you know, insane how Instagram is, Damn. but I just like, 
I'm kind of a hot mess. I always tell my followers I'm a hot mess, <laughs> but in a good <laughs> way, you know. Um, I just do it as I feel it because I really do see. I love the editing, and that I really do see as art. It's like my artistic outlet almost. So uh-huh. I'll take the raw film and I'll find. I'll like listen around and like find a song I'm vibing with and wait for an idea to come into my head and kind of throw it together. And then when I post it, I post it. <laughs> I tried to be a little bit more consistent, but yeah it's just me <laughs> okay all right well thank you for sharing that I have a feeling some listeners are going to hear that and they're going to be there like oh my god I've been stressing out about this whole social media thing <laughs> <laughs> listen when anyone asks me because I'll have people message me and they're like you know like your account's growing like how are you doing it and stuff like that I'm like dude just be yourself like do you like keep your head down and show like share what you love with other people and post what you want to post and Mm -hmm. people will love you for you and that's really like ultimately I feel like what my platform is about is encouraging people to do anything that they want to do like you can do whatever you want to do whatever you put your mind to you know and being you (laughs) sweet and then um what is your favorite platform Instagram, TikTok, and I think you're getting ready for YouTube now. So I am, I am. So I promise it is coming. I've had some crazy past few weeks. I've just been super busy and it's just Uh been on the back burner because I already have the Instagram platform. So that's already rolling. So I have to take care of that one. So um, Instagram is the main platform. I think it's my favorite. I like how it's a little bit more diverse and it's not just like TikTok is mostly just, you know, videos and Facebook, everyone says is for old people, but I guess I'm an old person because it came out when I was young. (laughs) Um, But yeah, Instagram's the top one and YouTube is coming. I have a feeling YouTube might be big, but we're going to see, especially since I love editing. So I have a feeling since you said that you loved editing, that you're going to love YouTube and your vibe. Me personally, I have a hard time um choosing between enjoying the moment or recording the moment so that's why that's why youtube is not the right platform for me i'm gonna put some effort into it but i know or i know naturally it's not this my baby so i'm good and I i feel like i have to like tell myself beforehand like I'm going to be recording and then I'll do it. But otherwise I'm like that too. Like I I like to be present and we're on our phone so much already. So it's like, yeah, I put it down and then I'm like, oh crap, I didn't get like any of that. (laughs) What advice would you give to a person who's afraid of going after what they want? Hmm. Don't allow you to hold you back and don't allow others perceptions of you or what others tell you you should do dictate anything that you do if you want something then go after it because you can do it if you put your mind to it I feel like in in society nowadays like there's very like cookie cutter ideas of who certain people should be and how people should act and what they should do and what they should accomplish at what time. And it's taking away happiness from life, you know, like it's, it takes away people's happiness ultimately. And I think finding yourself and finding your why and why you're ultimately meant to be here and what you're meant to share with other people is so important. So that was kind of a tangent, but do it for you, you know? <laughs> okay. And then um, your Instagram is a mix of fashion, aka daily fits and fitness. So yeah. what made you want to show off your daily fits while hitting PRs and killing the gym? Yeah. So daily fits, fits have always been my thing. I've always been into fashion since I was little. My mom said she always knew that I was going to love shoes because I was upset. That was the first thing I did was I learned to take on and off my shoes and I loved shoes. I had a pair of shiny black shoes and that's what I called them. And it's just history ever since, you know, I've evolved a lot, obviously with my fashion sense over the years and just kind of come into myself and found my niche exactly like at the time that I found Anaka 
And so I kind of just like melded into this like Inaka hijabi gym thing <laughs> that I am. <laughs> and like, that's me, you know? So I was like, if I'm passionate about it and like I can share it with other people and they dig it, it's super cool. So I hope to continue that on my page for sure and do a little bit more fashion stuff. Okay. And I know that you posted like a fire as hell bit on you on the red carpet and you posted on your story that Volcom liked it and you were like oh please sponsor me Volcom are you Great. Gonna, are you gonna post that with the Volcom liked it like how I like how no I, like, I think I am dude so I think fun. I'm gonna like I might like make a real like just like a still like real about it or like do like the photo thing and like tag Volcom and be like yo because if people who are listening to this don't know I skateboard and I love to skateboard. So I already have a lot of, like, I've used Volcom stuff for years. When I was in high school, I worked at PacSun and it was like one of my favorite brands. So <laughs> shout out to Volcom. Volcom, if you watch this, like I'm your girl. <laughs> okay. I'll make sure to tag Volcom down below. <laughs> Definitely slide through and listen to yeah. this. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So another quick question your way is on your downtime, what do you do to relax and center yourself from the bullshit? Hmm. That's a really good question, dude. My biggest thing, and I guess this isn't really downtime, mm -hmm. but my biggest priority during the day is my prayer. So okay. I'm Muslim. So I pray five times a day. So I love that about my faith because really what it does is it allows me to, at that time, I just kind of step away from what I'm doing and take my time to recenter myself to focus on what's important, you know, mm -hmm. and it allows you to keep your spirituality throughout your daily life instead of kind of getting pulled into the craziness of the world, you know? Um, so that's, that's the biggest thing. Um, obviously the gym is my outlet too. Like that's my time, man. It's, I can't even explain. I mean, I know other people feel the same way about it, but it's literally like my home, like wherever it is, like, it's just like, I can finally breathe. Like if I take multiple days off, it's, I can tell like my stress is building and stuff like that. Like I miss it. <laughs> so that's definitely um, that in my faith for sure. Awesome. Sure. Thank you for sharing that with me and the mm -hmm. listeners. And then another quick question your way is I'm not familiar with the Muslim religion at all. So are there designated times where you have to pray? Like it is, it is like a, a scheduled time or is that something that as long as you hit your daily five, you're, you're good. Yeah. So there are scheduled times. Um, it's really nice and it changes based on the, um, location of the sun, like where it's at and the time of day. So it also varies during the time of year and stuff like that, because summer days are longer and winter days are shorter, but we have a prayer at sunrise. And then we have another prayer in the afternoon around like noon, one-ish, uh -huh. and then another one sometime between like 3.30 and 5.30, depending on the time of year, and then another one at sunset, and then another one right before bed, so... And like between those times, like you have, you don't like you have between those times to do it. So it's not like you have to do it at that exact time, but I try to, you know, just okay. to kind of stay on, on the right path. <laughs> Sweet. Thank you. And then, mm -hmm. um, another quick question is how do you, res I know we talked about this on the IG live a while back. How do you respond to individuals that are not open-minded or closed minded and have it, it'll inconceived or, or ill will towards yeah. individuals of the yeah. Muslim faith? I definitely knew it would be a struggle and something that I would face because anyone who does any platform gets hate, let alone everything that I have going on, like it's getting it from multiple directions. Mm -hmm. So it was still a little shocking when it first started flooding in. It's hard to not let it get to you a little bit because really what it comes down to is I just get irritated because I really wish I could educate people. Um, but a lot of people aren't very open-minded and I feel like it's not, you know, worth trying to like, 
you know, pick a fight or anything like that. So I do try to just ignore the negative because there's a lot more positive than there is negative. And I said that, I think last time that you asked that, because it really is true. There's so many supportive people and messages from young Muslim girls that are encouraged to work out or encouraged to try a new sport or something like that. And that's huge to me, you know? So all of that never fails to drown out the negative. That's awesome. Yeah. Bro. And then, um, so when are you planning a trip to Alpha Land and Naka Power HQ or an event um, with the Naka Power? Because you definitely have to link up with the Naka Power fam. Anything? You no, know, 100%. So do you know what, when is their next pop up? Do you know? Unfortunately, I do not know. Um, I know from you usually know form, secret things. I normally do know secret things. <laughs> I'm normally really good at keeping secrets. I'm being genuine and honest. I do not know. I do from what I was from what I was told, the Anaka Power meetups were supposed to be Miami, Chicago, and LA. Miami's already happened because I was there. Right. So Chicago and LA are supposedly up. Um, I do not know when those are gonna happen. If Dude, I did, I would have told you. You already know if there's one in LA, I'm going to be there. I mean, that's not far from me at all. So 100% will be there. But aside from that too, I'm going to Alpha Land and, you know, that general area by the end of the year, for sure. I'm starting a new uh, travel nurse contract oh, this awesome. week. So I'm doing that. And then once I get kind of settled in, um, that's when I'll probably make my plans to to come out there. So I'm super, super stoked about that, but I definitely, definitely am trying to link up with them, um, and work with them. I would love to do huge things with them and one day have a Shano Anaka line, all that good stuff, you know? Okay. If you don't. You'll certainly make that happen. That's for yeah. Sure. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So, um, favorite Anaka apparel. That you, that's that's your favorite I know it's a really hard question but that is such a hard question when people ask me that I'm like I don't even know but honestly I think my most worn mm-hmm. are my teddy tees any of my teddy tees yes. those ones are my favorites for sure um so those are top shirts and then shorts I think my most worn pair is my like ivory, like cream color pair, okay. just because I can put those with literally anything and they match my Yeezy slides and that's the best. <laughs> so <laughs> I wear those a lot, but dude, these new ones, I'm going to stand up and show you. These new ones are dope. Okay. Like, nice. I'm obsessed. I got. You got every color. Pairs. In. Yeah. I got too many pairs, mm-hmm. but like they're super, super dope. I think there's good. They're going to start coming out with some more dope patterns and stuff like that. I think I saw Sholly wearing a pair that was like, kind of like a rug, like pattern type thing. Yeah. And I will lose it. Like, that's so freaking cool. I can always like, whenever I see stuff, I'm like the fits I'll freaking make with that, bro. Like, it's going to be so cool. <laughs> The fit designer met him out in Miami and he's 100% just working for Naka now, head of creative design. And he showed some designs to some people out there and their jaws dropped. So what's coming next? Like those shorts are going to be insane. Insane. I'm so, I literally can't wait. And they're coming out with like the essentials. I've been seeing those on everything. Um, You already know those are going to be dope. I'm going to have like, I'm like, I'm just going to be broke. I don't even know. And my whole entire closet is going to be a Naka. It's like my house. I feel like at some point is going to be a Naka because it's like, I saw they're starting to make protein. I said that like a few weeks ago, like when they come out with that, I'll have a Naka protein. So Okay. So it's going to um, be like, eat, sleep, breathe. Anaka. Eat, sleep, breathe a Naka. So um, did you see the YouTube video that they're going to get ready for an Anaka world? Mm-hmm. I did. I did. Yeah, I have a feeling you'll be you'll be there opening day. Oh, you already know, because by opening day, I'm already going to be part of the team. Okay. All right. Speaking, <laughs> it, sick. Speaking um, it into existence, but but that's super dope. I'm super super excited for them, and I know it's just going to be amazing. They're going to do amazing things for real. I 
aspire and I think they're just amazing guys and I hope to do the same thing someday you know like I hope to have freaking Shano world <laughs> <laughs> so um and I know you said you're a fan of Anaka supplements already what's your favorite my favorite supplement yep I would say for sure is the greens that they just dropped those things are bomb they're very they have good stuff in them they're reasonably priced they taste a lot better than most of the greens I've tasted. Um, so overall, 10 out of 10 recommend. All of the flavors are bomb. I think there's like a lemon lime and a citrus and a berry. So those are all good. And then I always use their um, pump. So that's their non-stem pre-workout because I've been staying away from caffeine. So that's my, my other fave. But, and then there's going to be protein. I'm super, super stoked about that. So we'll see next time we talk, uh, it might be different. Who knows? <laughs> okay. All right. And then I just wanted to say thank you for getting on Content Inspire, for sharing your story, who you are. Because like I said, I have a feeling one person is going to listen to this and just go after it. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, dude. You've been a, a big supporter from the start. So you'll always be the homie for real. <laughs> Sweet. Is there anything you'd like to say to the listeners before we hop off? I just want to say thank you, especially if you're one of my followers, if you're starting to follow me or support me, it really is the most touching thing when people reach out to me and say that I have impacted their life or changed their life for the better, even like that's, it's just mind blowing to me. And so I just want you guys to know that you touch my life and you touch me, um, in the same way that I might touch you. So I want to encourage everyone to be themselves, to go out and do the things that they want to do and to be proud of who they are and to own it because everyone deserves that. And that'll, that's what happiness is about, you know? <laughs> so that's what I have to say. <laughs> awesome. Well, Content Inspire community, thank you so much for, for checking out this episode. And till next time. Till next time. See you around, dude.